Welcome to Teach the Word. Uh, today we'll talk about hope out of Romans 15. Heavenly Father, please uh, guide the words and and enable your your truth to speak out. Amen. Um, this section is uh, sort of the end of the epistle to the Romans. Paul's writing things about uh, maybe how the believers ought to conduct themselves and um, in, in, in the midst of that he's giving um, you know maybe some explanatory notes as to why um, so in verse 3 he's, he's explaining why they ought to act how he's saying in verses 1 and 2 to their neighbors and he quotes uh, psalm and then right after he quotes that psalm let's read verse four he says for whatever things were written before were written for our learning that we through the patience and the comfort of the scriptures might have hope um, hope is, stands out in this passage because it, it keeps getting repeated then he goes on to talk uh, to do a little, to have a little prayer for the romans um, how they how they could um live, which is really a good prayer for us. Well, so why don't we pray it over ourselves and our churches? 5 and 6. Now may the God of patience and comfort grant you to be like-minded toward one another according to Christ Jesus, that you may with one mind and one mouth glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then uh, he goes on to talk about um, another kind of commands about how the Romans ought to treat one another and to receive each other. And then he goes on to give explanation as to why. And in his explanation, he talks about how Christ acted, what Christ did. And then he gives several quotes about Christ's work being for the Gentiles um, from Isaiah and other books. The last quote is uh, verse 12. And again, Isaiah says, and in, in the New Testament, the last line of that says, In him the Gentiles shall have hope. And then that's his transition into verse 13. It's another prayer of Paul for the Roman believers. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and patience in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So take this to us. The challenge is for us to have that hope, that the God of hope, through our reading of the scriptures and seeing what is written beforehand, we would have hope. We would abound in hope, actually, as we look at the scriptures and we're empowered to have that hope through the Holy Spirit, because we serve a God of hope. So that's the challenge, hope in the God of hope. Thanks for listening.